Hello everyone, up below. Good big shout out to KR Couriers and Transport Limited and a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Not podcast with yourself, Billy Moore. Just out and about with Darren Schmidt. Darren is very knowledgeable about the city centre, but being a townie, getting a little too far, just up Roxy. Let's find out what he knows, what he shows about. Yeah, I'll tell you another one, boss one you can do here. Yeah. Where? Right. That used to be Grandma Daly's over there. Back in the day, it was a pet shop. So big alleys and fucking cages, lad. <laughs> <laughs> so we heard this used to be the, be an old train station. Exchange station, what? Station. This here. All right, lads. Is Angelo on, kid? Angelo, he's still here. No, he's no, he left. No, All right, he's the sorted table for me there, dad. Angelo, he's the sorted table for quid. No, it's only been changed, lad. No. Yeah, nice one, lad. You've got bar built in the hot end, mate. Right there. <laughs> but, uh, no Angelo, mate. No Angelo. <laughs> so, this is the oldest pub in Liverpool, Ye Hole, in Ye Wall. I don't know where the remake's going. I said, we walk and I should see me our mates in here, lad. Yeah, by chance, if we just. Yeah, and there you was. It was meant to be. I've knocked these three beers off because of the words of the enjoyment. Got a telephone in there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll open it for you. Skeletons in there, Adam. It doesn't work. It doesn't work the phone. No, the Skeletons in the closet. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll get past. Right. I can have a whiskey, but we're doing Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, the oh, story with yeah. that is. There's the last PT, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been waiting for 50 you years to get away with him with his missus. <laughs> he's, on, he's on Darren's diet. Yeah. Hey, look. Get on that. Boss, this pub was 1726 when it was first built, turned into a pub. Before that, it was a Quaker church. Our cellar's on the first floor because there's bodies apparently below us. Told you. Uh, it's, it's me, our it, mate. It's got more atmosphere. He was in. Fucking hell, lads. We're not getting any older, are we? No, I am, mate. Oh, you're not. That is made of putty. Above there. Now I had to get that redone because somebody had painted it years ago with Anna Glitter and it didn't allow it to breathe. Uh, so we had to get that remade. But that that's ham knocked out as well, the brass there. That's re there's ghosts in here though. Oh god, yeah. yeah this time of year, the ghosts are crazy. Oh, shit, this is actually a ghost. <laughs> no, this time of year, the glasses get knocked off the shelves. I mean, the other day, which happened, you remember when they first came here with the big, with the, the big bags when you were little. I'd be standing here and somebody said, Steve, just seen a fella run up your stairs there. And my kids would be up there. So I'd fly up. The amount of times I've phoned Tavern to come and help me. I think, I think, <laughs> I think there's somebody, I, I think somebody hiding upstairs. <laughs> But the kids, and uh, uh, Matthew at the time, he's only five, he's talking away. And I walked in the room and said, talking, talking to the man. The man. Crazy, isn't it? Well, it's, it's fab and it's got, uh, it's got some fantastic stories. Been here some years now, lad. 28. Yeah, you've been 28 here. years. You've been here 28 years? Yes. Wow. And you know, I've got to be honest, I've never worked a day in 28 years. I love it. So it's not a job when you love oh, what you do. Years, I, I just, you know, it's small as well, and it's quite. Yeah, it's, 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 we like the word bijou if you don't mind. <laughs> so yeah, the oldest pub in Liverpool. It's quite bijou. <laughs> Going back about fifteen years ago. He's got more stories than me. Oh, an old woman <laughs> come in about in the seventies, and she said, "Have you got a phone box?" So I showed where the phone box is. And she started crying, and I said, come on, it's not a real skeleton, it's just a joke. She went, no, my mum and dad consummated me in there. I was, oh, oh God. No, no. Fucking hell, Bill, and I never I know, I know. But the crazy thing is, women weren't allowed in here till 1975. Fuck off. No women, no, no women customers. So... The mother must have been a barmaid. Yeah, get in here, girl. Get in here. Fucking hell, he's copping a barmaid. Yeah, get in here. If she was 70, that must have been in, what, the 1800s? It's a fucking 
Yeah, but oh, early 1910s. 1910, yeah. Hundreds, yeah. But does she come 15 years ago, did she yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, that is. You know, now we get called, or the kids now get called sluts and sweats and everything else. But hey, bang the cupboards <laughs> 85 years ago. I mean, we've got my ass in there. Be hanging out. So Darren's just said this is the first ever street that got named in Liverpool, Sweeten Street after the law mayor of Liverpool. Look at this. Give to all the poor. The old cobble streets. The streets are built up the left go down the century of it. People who live in the city don't ever come down these parts, do they, Venture? Yeah. This is a proper Jack the Ripper street, bro. Yeah, look at the little shops in the bottom and that. Look. Yeah, let's go to half fuck. <laughs> These have been all little shops in that bill, haven't they? Yeah. Down here, mate. Get me down here in a cloak and a big hat and I'll hit you over the head like the river, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the Scouts River, lad. <laughs> Queens Avenue. So Sweeten Street finishes here, Look. goes right round on an arch. So can you imagine, right, living in, in the city of Liverpool? Ask him. That's the town hall, isn't it? Is there? Yeah. Then the slave ships come in, used to get marked. Did they have a lot of North and South Wales Bank, right? Would every one of these buildings have been a bank? That's my child over there, lad. The National Bank. <laughs> There's no one ever heard that posting. Look at it, lad. It looks like something out of New York, doesn't it? Yeah. You ought to start this Dickie Bandit's working, man. It's a big and hard report, lad, isn't it? It's Dr. Martin Luther King building, though. Well, if you want history, come to the docks in Liverpool. Look at this. It's mixed in with modern art. It's been a modern build. No handlebars. No fucking wheel, no seat. They've fucking raped it, mate. Not a thing left on the bike. How the bike like that? A petty farden. Do you know why I come here, lads, when it was getting built from Darwick and Guinnesses over there on Norfolk Street? Mm. And it used to be a Liverpool shop down there, lads, in the corner, years ago. Very first up. We used to come on the rob here as kids, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Hartley, 1718, 1860. Designer of Albert Dock, engineers to the port of Liverpool, 1824 to 1860. During World War II, 1939 to 1945, ships of the Royal Navy sailed from the port of Liverpool to escort merchant vessels sailing in convoy. Presented by the Flower Class Corvette Association, 1993. I'll go in with one swift kick, that. Ah, fucking get your judge of that, door, mate. <laughs> Got a great name, though, Annie Billy Fury. Scout Elvis. 1940 to 1983, yeah. he was only young, weren't he? 43 when he died. 42, it says there, isn't it? Is it 42? Oh, fuck you, look. 42. He was, that's what he used to call him, didn't he? The, the, the Scout's fucking Elvis. The Scout of Fury. 
Reckon he was ladies to say something. Well, his fans bought that, didn't he? There's something here, like. The crossing, yeah. Everybody went to North America. There's the crab. Oh, shoes, he must have been fucking blue. So, yeah, what's that? Who's that by? I don't know what that says, though. 2001. Yeah. I reckon 99% of these padlocks are mine. Hey. All the bears have loved and lost. Get on this. Those would be that cheap one there with the combi lock on it. Do <laughs> <laughs> you reckon you can get yourself on that horse, lad? Someone buried being on there, haven't he? I'll give you a bump, mate. Fuck that. That's the first ever thing. <laughs> if anyone knows anything about the Great Western Railway in the chat, let me know. The overhead railway started or it finished the overhead railway. Yeah, we need to know. I know we could Google it, but we'd yeah, like you to. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first ferry, weren't it? Well, you can drink for a bluey. <laughs> Three sisters, innit? Do you know that there's three lava beds? Where's the third one? I'll show you in a minute. That bird out of East End is a nose as fucked. Look at that, look at it. Well done. So if my memory serves you right, the third I have a bed here. Yeah. So up there is the third lava bed. Let's get a bit closer. I didn't even know there was one. That's only got one. One wing. Eh? One wing. Say next. And the others are over there. Oh, and there's the other two. He got fucking legs, didn't he? Yeah, he never got in the loft, didn't he? The pig and whistle. I'm still going. Oh, I can't see that going, lad. If, it, if it is, it needs a bit of work. So this is the old headquarters where they planned the war back in World War II. Underground. This is now a museum. I've never actually been in there, you know, Dan. Look at yourself down to Romford Street. World War II museum. So everything that went on out, um, on the Atlantic during the war was all planned from this building. So it was the headquarters for the Royal Navy and the RAF. So they planned the movements of all the convoys carrying the food across the ocean, um, all the tactics to um, figure out how the U-boats were operating, all that kind of thing. That was all done from this yeah. building. You know your history. <laughs> Do you know really, really dumb? I feel like it's easier with um, the Second World War in terms yeah. of history. Yeah, look. It's this building called that. This one's called the Exchange. Exchange Bank. What is it? Barnes Bank. Another bank. Look at that. Get up there so you can see them ceilings, mate. You can't see the big bank. Well, you can see a little bit. Martin's Bank, 1927 to 1932. Herbert J. Ross, architect, sculpture by H. Tyson Smith. Have a look at this gate.
What's this one? Doesn't even resemble a booze or not, does it? Not sure it is. Not sure it is. It's another old booze, isn't it? Yeah. Still standing. So this is a positive side of Liverpool history. Thanks for uh, all your knowledge, mate. Once again, thanks for watching.